Good day, everyone. Merry meet. My name is Glennis, and I am the Witch of Whitetail Hollow. If you just found my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, well, you guys already know, thank you so, so much. It's so nice to have you. I wanted to share a little bit of love mail with you and how I treat some of my love mail. And this is no offense to who sent it to me, so... You know, just let's not even go there. <laughs> but um, I received some beautiful, beautiful love mail. But um, there's actually a way, um, and I'm going to show you my way, of cleansing, consecrating, and charging a talisman, an amulet. Um, I've got like a prayer card here. I've got some beans here. And I actually have an unusual a couple actually a couple of unusual items um but what i've what i've got i've already kind of gotten started because what i've done i actually got this from a very someone i consider a very dear friend and i know it's an unusual item it's actually an an outdoor faucet cover and it's an owl and they know of my love of owls and i've actually loved owls all of my life and now and just now really just now it's come to me why and and I've told you guys that there is are no I don't feel like there are no coincidences oh well that's a coincidence no 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 I'm sorry I refuse to believe that because believe me at my age and looking back and you know, seeing the big picture, how things have, you know, fallen together. And it's like, there are no coincidences. But um, anyway, I digress and I apologize. But um, I've always loved owls. I've always had them ever since I was, not owls themselves, but you know what I mean, in my room and things like that. And as it turns out, over the past three or so years that I've been working, developing um, the hollow, I've noticed, and believe me, I've spent a bit of time there and a little bit of downtime too, unfortunately, but I've spent a little bit of time noticing that I haven't seen any squirrels. Now, when I moved into this home that I'm in, I look outside and they're everywhere. They're just absolutely everywhere. And I mean, I know that there are things there for the squirrels to eat. So I'm wondering, where are the squirrels? <laughs> and I haven't really been on anyone else's property to go, you know, do you have any squirrels? What's up with the squirrel situation here? But I, I came back home and I kind of Googled it because I'm wondering, you know, what's, what's up, right? And as it turns out, more than likely, I have... Hopefully, I have several owls in residence, and when definitely when owls are in residence and they're hunting and they're looking for things to eat, you're not going to have squirrels or mice or you know whatever kicking around as dinner running around, basically running around for them. So in a way, they're kind of protecting my property ahead of time. So this is absolutely. I actually got, I have two. Uh, they sent me two, which is, oh my goodness, thank you so, so much. But, um, so, not only do I have owls there protecting me, but I will, I have already, what I've done is I've already cleansed, consecrated, and charged these. Uh, and, now you can cleanse, consecrate, and charge like an amulet or, you know, whatever. Uh, but I also uh, <laughs> cursed these a little bit because they are, in essence, going to protect me. Now, I know some of you are maybe a little bit squeamish about uh, hexing and cursing and things like that, but in my work with Hecate, I've learned that I'm not afraid to hex, curse, as long as I am just and right in my ask. And I don't ask you know, just randomly, just, oh, you know, oh, by the way, I think I'll just curse this and or them or whatever. That's not the way cursing should work. Um, if you feel threatened or if you think things are not safe, then 
as far as I'm concerned, you are right and just in your ask. So I, what, what I've done, like I said, I've already done this and uh, until I can get these installed, I'm going to have them charging on my altar. And yeah, so it's gonna be a wonderful, wonderful thing, but you know, thank you so, so much. It's so appreciated. Uh, and I will share the wording because there is a right way and a wrong way to hex and or curse <laughs> to protect yourself. If, if you're just the least bit squeamish, there is wording that you can use that, you know, to cover your, your bet, your bases, then there's wording that you can use. But I'm going to share that with you in the upcoming months. So no worries there. But um, yeah, so thank you. Thank you, thank you. It was just so unexpected and, and what a surprise. Just a, a complete surprise. I also got a beautiful, uh, I, I'm hoping that this will come through for you guys. It is a, a pendant. And I think you guys can see it. Yeah. It's a Hecate's wheel and with the moon phases around. And it's just beautiful. And the box that it came in, it's, it's just a cardboard, but how cute, huh? And she also sent, she also gifted me, I'm hoping that you guys can see this. Oh, I think might be too much glare but there's another small pendant to put on there as well and I have a prayer card oops I have a prayer card that I'm going to be using and I have some beans here that I'm going to be using um, again with the beans and after you you cleanse consecrate and charge whether it be a faucet uh, and a pendant beans or whatever ideally you should like a pendant you should wear for five days not take it off but definitely wear it for five days um and the beans now the beans you're supposed to carry on your personal body seven days uh and i'm i'm i've had these and i'm really rooting to to be able to actually physically carry these on my body and every time I think you know I'm going to use them I haven't carried them I feel like I haven't carried them on my my body for seven days so I, <laughs> I've, I'm going to give it my very very best shot um, but what I've got started here is and you guys I'm sure you guys already have the app on your phone north south east west uh, to the north here, I'm not really sure if you can see, is so I have a little bit of salt for north, for the earth. Over here I have some incense burning for air, east. In the south I have a little, little tea light candle. And I have some water here that I've al already put a, I put a little bit of salt from up there to cleanse. And what I do and you'll need just a, a plain white candle. Now I've already shared with you guys how I work with my candles before I even bring them to the to here to actually start working with. And I'll hopefully I can drop a link below to that uh, because I firmly believe in what I'm doing and it works for me. And so, but just a white candle. And I invoke, and again, I'll try to drop a link to the video below, but I invoke, I've invoked Hecate this morning because I needed to touch bases with her anyway. And yes, I speak with you guys like she is a person, because to me, she is a person. Um, and... I just sit and talk to her. I've got a few little offerings here for her. And what I've done is when I invoked her and I just wanted to let this person know before I forget because I don't want to forget. But when I did this and these will be at Hecate's feet back in my temple, my sacred space. And 
I have asked her for the person that gifted me these for her to look out for them extra extra special uh, I don't feel that there's any danger happening but they were so kind to send me these and I know she has a connection with them so I've just asked her to please look after them as well so um, but what I do is after I you invoke your God or goddess or call on your spirit guide, your angels, your ancestors, whoever it is that you feel comfortable working with, I sit and, of course, I will go into meditation. Um, but I'll just hold my candle, bring it to my body, and close my eyes, and I'll visualize a really bright white light coming down, coming through me, through my hands, through my arms, into the candle. And basically, I'm infusing it with my intention, uh, whether it be for protection, which virtually everything here is for my protection. Now, like the beans, I'm going to be asking for something different and the prayer card, I'm going to be asking for something different, but everything else will be for my protection. But uh, just infusing it with what you want from what you're cl cleansing, consecrating, and charging here. And with that, I think you guys, yeah, um, I've already lit this candle. I've already salted my water here. And let's, let's just say, take your amulet. I take just a wee bit of the salted water. And I'll rub a little bit of the salted water on it. I'll take the pendant, amulet, talisman, whatever it is that you have. And I'll waft it over the incense smoke. Basically, all we're doing is cleansing over the fire of my charged candle. Just hold it in your uh, in your hands and go through your four quarters here. You could say something like, and of course, you can use your own words. Powers of the North, guardians of Earth. Consecrate and charge with your energies. I bless and declare this amulet, talisman, whatever it is that you have, a sacred tool. And you'll go powers of the east, uh, powers of the south, west, and go through it like that. And when you've done that with whatever it is that you have, I bless this amulet in the name of, and again, you can say in the name of the goddess, in the name of Hecate, um, in the name of my spirit guide, whatever you feel comfortable working with. I bless this amulet in the name of Hecate, under the sun, moon, and stars. All previous energies are clear. Its power is mine. I declare it so. The purpose of my pendant is for protection and inspiration because Hecate inspires me every way, every day. And I'll do the same with this. And again, with the beans, I will do the same with the beans, but I will ask for my wish to come to fruition. And with my prayer card, if I say any, any more about my prayer card, then you're going to know exactly what I'm asking for, and I don't want to do that. But, um, you know, it, it's really just that easy. I want to thank you so much for watching. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. It really, truly means so, so much to me. 
If you guys have any questions, not that I know everything, certainly not, but if you have any questions or if you want to share any stories, oh my goodness, absolutely, please do. Uh, with that, I'm going to say merry part, but I so hope to merry meet again. Goodbye, guys.